you know, walking around in this wasteland is quite dangerous by yourself. Do you have any friends with you? Hmm, that's too bad. If you had more than just one friend, I would actually have enough food for me and my sister. Oh well, I guess you will suffice for tonight. Where am I? Look up. <laughs> you know, your surroundings are very weak compared to mine. Your spiritual surroundings, that is. And after all, you and I are demons. But it looks like you don't even know where you're going. Yeah, it looks like you got some meat on your bones as well. I can't gain weight at all, see? Oh, what's the matter? You look like you've seen a ghost or something. Is it my appearance? I know I am quite hideous, am I? Compared to you, that is. You must be popular with all the women, aren't you? I envy that of you. Oh, I envy that of you. Why don't you just drop dead already in the most agonizing way possible? Uh, you want to draw your sword out on me? Oh, that's too bad. I thought you and I would have a nice calm conversation. But if you want to be hostile, I can be hostile as well. You don't want me to hurt you, do you? You look like a demon, but you have the thought process of a human. That makes you weak compared to me. You have no right squaring up to me like the way you are. It's unforgivable. Especially if you're a demon. Nonetheless, I suggest you put your swords down and let me talk. Because I'm not here to actually hunt for food. I'm here just to have a conversation with you. You see... You and I have met before. I recognized your face. Before my death all those years ago, and before I reincarnated back into a demon, I saw your face before. When I was killing someone in Japan, I was about to eat them, but then I sensed my sister Daki was in danger. But you know how that works. Us demons always do something irrational. I tried to slay the person who was killing my sister, but they were too fast. So they ended up cutting my head off as well. And before you know it, I surprised attacked him. Because he didn't know he had to cut both of our head off simultaneously. And besides that, I had to run away. Otherwise they would have killed me and my sister there. What I'm trying to say is, I recognize you. I don't forget a face when I see one. You have such a pretty face as well. No wonder you might get all the attention. Of 
quite a lot of people think I look disgusting, when in the reality, they're the disgusting creatures. They have no idea what we've gone through. Starving, getting beaten half to death, and etc, etc. But now, I don't have to worry about getting old or even starving, because I am a demon after all. I'll always be a demon. Even if I wanted to go towards the light of death, I always get carried back down into hell. You don't understand how it feels to be dragged away from pure happiness. <laughs> I envy the people who are ending up in heaven. And I'm stuck down here by myself. But no matter. As long as I have my beautiful sister Doki by my side. Not hunger. Nor even the burning sun rays will hurt us. I got a little carried away, didn't I? <laughs> no matter. Well, my message to you would be do not get in my way. Do not get in me, my sister's way. God, as if you do, I'll kill you where you stand. I chose to come back here. There's wild animals to hunt around here, and me and my sister live in a shack not far from here. You were looking for someone, weren't you? I did smell two scents of humans, after all. One seemed a bit more powerful than you, though. Uh, spying on them. You know, that's kind of weird of you. And I'm supposed to be the messed up one. <laughs> <laughs> For the wrong greater good. <laughs> They're stronger than you. I don't think they need your opinion on how to survive. You wouldn't even survive one day out here. There are so many creatures out here, they would just swallow you whole. Messed up looking creature is even worse than me. You would not even survive a minute out here. Hmm, matter of fact. You've bored me to the point where I don't want to consume your flesh anymore. You bore me. Such a boring human being you are. I'll leave you be for now. But you will remember me by my shape of my body and the numbers in my eyes. You will remember the name Gyutaro. You will have that in your mind forever. Because I will come back for you. I will come back for you. And I'll gut you like a pig. And eat your insides. <laughs> Don't give me that disgusting look. I will be back for you. Don't you forget about me now. I'll be going now. See you later. <laughs> uh.